Morning, everybody. It is Wednesday, and it is really cold out. I don't know the exact te temperature, but I'm going to say it's got to be in the 40s. I'm in a hoodie and some shorts in the car trying to stay warm. The plan was, again, to get up, uh, be out by 6.30. We're going to head to Midway uh, Geyser Basin. Uh, hopefully get there before all the rest of the crowd and check things out by ourselves. I don't know if we're going to be able to connect up with the boys today. It just doesn't seem like it's going to work out just with the way things have been going. But my gosh, it is so cold right now. Hey everybody, I am Judah and this is Katie. And this Aha. is day four, technically five of Yellowstone, which is where we are at, at this very moment. We woke up early once again and it was so incredibly cold what night are we talking about wednesday morning it was too cold for sleeping properly i crawled in the car as i was waiting for katie trying to get warm couldn't find the key to start the car and i was just freezing in there trying to eat the last of my it was like in the 30s right it was 37 it was so cold yeah so katie gets in there she turns on the car, we leave, we went to Lamar Valley to see some animals, yeah. and we saw a whole lot of buffalo, very cool. It was very foggy, very picturesque, mm -hmm. and we saw a whole herd of people with all their massive cameras camped out, like just rows and rows of cars and people, just tons of gear, just up on the hills, looking out in the distance, and we think they were watching a bear, potentially. Yeah, it looked like we, yeah, it looked like a bear, how it moved. Yeah. But it was very small. Well, obviously, um, too, so far away. There may have been wolves somewhere up there, too. Who knows? I did see a bunch of crow activity, and I know the crows supposedly work in tandem with wolves. So that's why I thought it was a, a wolf. But she you was right. There was just one, and wolves usually are not just one. You aren't uh, glazing over the buffalo, are you? Glazing <laughs> over them? Well, you just said we saw some buffalo. Well, no, I was about to say we, we got in a traffic yeah. jam of buffalo that stopped us and they were just like taking their sweet time that's true but even before that buffaloes went whoo oh, running across the road it was so cool was to me. see them yeah running mm -hmm. and jumping and kicking it was super cool mm -hmm. so i mean there's not much to say that's something you have to really experience yourself it was just so beautiful at that buffalo uh traffic jam i finally told katie i was like let's just yeah. turn around and, and head back then we stopped at uh the tower falls yeah, that was Which cool. Has was a nice. convenience store there. There's a trail, mm -hmm. and I was like, Katie, let's go do this trail. And at the top, there's a sign, and I only read a portion of it. It said, This trail leads to a lookout of the river. It doesn't lead you to the bottom of the river. And I stopped reading there, and I was like, Eh, okay. So we walk down there, and we get to the lookout, and then there's a sign that says, Caution, trail from here is not maintained and so uh, i figured that meant we could keep going that's, at our own risk yeah that and says so we did that says to me you know it's just not maintained it's up to you if you want to do this but it's all on you we walked so, down to the river yeah we walked down there we took fun photos on giant rocks and then we went around followed these boulders and i did my uh, along the side of the river there. yes i did my oda chuck strance down there mm -hmm. photo and it is centerfold on a log. It's true. All clothed. Katie maybe felt a little uncomfortable. Then we saw signs that definitely said, do not go past this point. And being the good campers that we are, we obviously looked the other direction and walked past them and kept hiking. Well, it looked like a revegetation area and it appeared to be that way. And so we went that way. Yeah. Okay, that's a lovely sign. And there was a little path, like people had gone this way before for sure. Exactly. And we went up a bit. I started scoping out the hill that we were climbing on and I was feeling a little concerned that some of these big rocks might come and crush me. But I was like, you go for it, girl. And Katie went up there and she caused a yeah, small... Yeah, I got pretty close to the top, but I couldn't figure out how to like lift myself over because it was kind of like a like an earth cliff like a dirt cliff that, and it was kind of loose you know I was yeah. 
knocking out small rocks. I did kind of pull out a big one and throw it down for she, effect. She, she caused a small avalanche there. So then I came back down. If we went back up the trail, we stopped in the general store. I found the Old Faithful root beer. I've been looking for this. I saw it at one general store, didn't pick one up, wanted one, and then I couldn't find it anywhere else and uh, finally found it. So I'm giving one of these. I got myself one, I got a block of cheese, and I re-upped on my Pop-Tarts, so everybody, I know you're worried, but I got more Pop-Tarts. We went out, I was like, Katie, I'm gonna go to the bathroom, she's drinking her soda. I come back, I open my backpack, which is where I put everything I purchased, and I can only explain this as what has to be some kind of supernatural event. Because I'm cheesing. My cheese was gone. <laughs> it was... Just, it just gone. I like pulled everything out of my bag and my cheese was just gone. I don't no know cheese. where the heck it was. So I, I drank my root beer and pouted the rest of the day. Yeah, he did. He told me he had no more cheese budget. I, I was like, the rest of this trip is obviously downhill from here. So we drove back. No, where, did we do something else? We took, we probably came back to the campsite for a yeah, while. Yeah, we took a nap. We did our, our oh, but nap. we did the south rim, too. Before oh, we napped, I think. Okay. Right? As we drove. Yeah. just did it. Yep. And then we went into the little strip mall area to that store. I got myself some chips and salsa. Katie got herself some haagen -Dazs. And we sat down at oh, yeah. the picnic table. And there are these amazing ravens, which Yellowstone just calls them the common raven. But they were sitting there, huge, huge, huge. They're big, they're beautiful. They're like, they have like purple and blue in their feathers. And they're just like sitting next to us, like asking us, like little puppies, hey, can it's, I get some of that yeah. salsa, buddy? Yeah, that's true. So Katie is uh, deep into texting, and I thought it was really hilarious, and I set a chip on the table next to her. <laughs> and, and sure enough, the crow came over and uh, did not care, and he, he grabbed himself some chip. I it wouldn't, really startled me. Yes, it did. He wanted to dip. I said no double dips. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, then we <laughs> ran into AJ and Cass, and AJ enlightened us by letting us know that the raven is the second smartest animal <laughs> next to the gorilla. So, uh -huh. we've been hearing that a lot lately. Yeah, actually. It's, I don't know where he picked that information up, but the man is a whiz when it comes to animals. From there, we went to Cascade. No, there's a tra there's a trail that runs back by a bunch of ponds or lakes, lakes I think. And me and Katie were kind of feeling tired, but we still wanted to get more out of the day, so we decided to only take this trail to Cascade Lake. And oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's a that very nice. yeah, it was, it was very it was. narrow. The trail couldn't have been more than like a foot wide. Yeah, it was like a field, kind of, like a, yeah. like a, I don't know, like grasses. It was like low grasses. Yes, lots of grasses. And then... A small forest section of evergreens. But we walk to the lake, and we see one lone buffalo digging in the dirt. We see, we see two fishers, fishermen, off by the river. And river, I mean the lake. Katie and I walk to the lake, and then we see two older people coming from the opposite direction. And Katie and I are taking photos. We're looking at buffalo poop. And the other couple is like way, way, way ahead, heading back towards where our car was by the time we start heading back. We're going back, and I see this white coat just laying in the center of the trail, which obviously was not there. Actually, first I was like, this wasn't here the fir first time we've walked by here. I was like, I know it wasn't. So I was thinking these people that was or up ahead of us must have dropped it. So I grab the coat and we start speeding up. And I see them ahead and I start holding up the coat and I'm yelling to them. And first they just kind of ignore us, but then finally they stop and they turn and they look and they're just standing there. And Katie had mentioned they probably didn't even know what I was saying, which is probably true. And I'm just like holding this coat and pointing. And then finally the woman starts walking towards me and the dude just he just stands there 
which is cracking me and Katie yeah, up. Yeah, he's like, whatever, no yeah. way. I'm he's, not going back. Exactly. He's like, yeah, you can go and get murdered on your own. I'm staying right here. I'm not, <laughs> there's no way I'm walking back there. So she comes up to me and I'm like, is this your coat? And she's like, well, yeah, it is, but no, my coat is in our backpack zipped up. <laughs> and then she takes it from me and she's like, but no, this is my coat. She's like, how can it? And then I tried to console her by being like, I know what it's like. I had a piece of cheese in my backpack. It disappeared. <laughs> she, she did not. She, she didn't care. Right yeah, yeah, she, I, I was trying to connect with she her on an emotional care. level. She and care. she just. She was so focused on herself. Ego she was. centered. Yeah. So we walk back to her, <laughs> who I'm thinking is her husband, who's faced towards us. And she's like, look, but we put it in the backpack. How did it get out? Put the backpack. And then he. He like turns around for her to put it in and the backpack is completely just open. open and just all their stuff is just Hang spilling out of it. And she's like, oh my gosh. It was, yeah. it was very funny. Mm -hmm. So we walked past them. Guys, when we first walked past this, Katie said, that looks real juicy. Now, do you all remember that I said I was a little concerned that every time Katie would talk about these crickets. She would call them juicy. See that juicy cricket? And she confessed that she thinks she calls them juicy because she secretly wants to stomp on them and see what'll squirt out. So I think it tracks to think that since she just said that that pile of poop was juicy, she secretly wants to stomp on it. What do you guys think? Leave a comment. This is Cascade Lake, by the way. This is Cascade Lake Trail. We're walking. Katie's way back there. She had something in her sock. I told her it was her foot. She said she hoped not. And then we had another encounter. That we, was terrible. Yeah. Which we stepped <laughs> off the side of the trail for them to get through. Well, all this time, Judah keeps saying, this trail is boring. I want something dangerous and scary to happen. I, I want to see a big animal or something. I said, I want a terrifying uh, whatever. encounter. And this is what the universe brought this, to us. This is the terrifying encounter we had. So I step <laughs> off to the side, this adult man carrying a baby on his back, and an older woman who I'm automatically thinking that's probably the dude's mom, walk up to us, and I just make some kind of a small oh, kind of like you're brave yeah brave for bringing your baby and you know i, I was thinking it was just going to be like oh yeah thanks in the past but no it like no. opened the door for this whole Not only conversation that, though, like you know you step off the trail just to let someone pass so they're like they're, they're like here they're in the trail we'll say we we've stopped and they're do 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 and he, judah speaks and they stand just like oh. they're so close to us we are like Eye to eye. I could probably smell that man we, if I tried. They made us close to It was really awkward. Unintentionally, yes. We're and trapped. So he starts telling us about how it wasn't so bad that they did the switchbacks for the lower view of the falls of the canyon and how they took a cart down but they couldn't get it up so we had to carry them and the three-year-olds running all over the place and it's freaking out. Ha ha ha. And then Judah's like, ugh, if I had kids. Yeah. I was trying to make these I like I just stop doing anything in my statements. life. Exactly. And he starts moving and this lady's like, You guys aren't working on a kid? And I was like, Oh, no, I'm not even married and this is this is my sister and then Katie goes, Ew, Ew. And I'm like, yeah, Thanks, because, Katie. Yeah, but then she won't stop this no. lady. She's like, How can you be siblings? You have straight hair and you have curly hair. Yeah, and I'm like Ever hair of chemotherapy? Ever hair of adoption? Ever hair of a perm? Pick one, lady. <laughs> Just let us leave. It was fine. I didn't say any of that. No. I said we're steps. And I said it's fake. And then I ran away. And <laughs> basically, that's when like, we, I'm out of here. <laughs> we exited. It's all fake. Yeah. Judah strains his hair. It's. <laughs> But it was pretty funny because she wasn't gonna let us get away without like more conversation. It was. It was pretty fantastic. That, for the most part, ended our day. We headed back. I got to watch the boys make themselves fantastic meals. So what we got here, AJ? Basic, uh, well actually this is cheddar rice, which made it worse, but rice and chicken. Oh, so you just threw one of them bags of rice? And yep. some, was the chicken pre-cooked or what? It was a packet chicken, and I don't like this brand either, so both of them aren't really hitting for me. Oh, I'm sorry. And the cast 
cooked himself up some two fantastic burritos. I ate SpaghettiOs. Katie, what did you eat? Mm, uh, chips. <laughs> there you go. I mean, I ate something else earlier in the evening okay. before the potato chips. So that was day four, technically five. Thanks for watching. We'll come back with another one. See you later.